This is a two up race with man one demonstrating how to stall man two. By stall, I mean keeping the pace as slow as possible, allowing man one to accelerate to the finish line, making it much more difficult for man two to pass. You can see here how when man two moves up the track, man one just mirrors their movements. This keeps the gap between the two riders small, which enables the pace to remain slow. If the gap gets bigger, it allows man two to create either a speed or heist advantage, which man one would then need to react to to defend their position. The observation and awareness of man one is very important to make sure that man two doesn't pass up the inside. This is why this is a slightly more advanced tactic than the black line lead out in the previous video. Coming into a lap and a half to go, Man 1 needs to increase the pace significantly to make sure that Man 2 doesn't jump over them and out accelerate them. You can see here, even coming into one lap to go, Man 1 has as much height as possible. With good observation, if Man 2 were to dive to the inside, Man 1 will come down and cover the move. The race didn't start there until three quarters of a lap to go, meaning that Man 1 accelerates the line. This is a great tactical race by Man 1. We can now see the race from the perspective of Man 2. Ultimately, Man 2's aim here is to make Man 1 speed up so that they slow down as they approach the finish line in the final lap, making it easier for them to pass. This is a really nice demonstration of the observation and skill of man one. Whenever man two looks to undertake on the left hand side, man one comes down the track and covers the move. One really nice trick here from man one is as you go into the first or second bend, come down the track and then slow down on the Cote d'Azur. This will help keep man two close. This is the time in the race where man 2 might think about jumping and attacking, accelerating straight over the top of man 1. This is why it is key that man 1 takes it upon themselves to increase the pace, even if there is no pressure. Again you can see the good observation of man 1, leaving man 2 in a position where they feel as though they can't overtake because man 1 has height and they can't undertake because man 1 will just come down and cut off their move. It is this indecision that makes this such an effective tactic and we will take this one step further in the next video so make sure you subscribe on YouTube or like Blackline on Facebook so that you don't miss out.